Pleased with what I had witnessed, the safety audit had gone well. This was an organized program, manuals, policies, and procedures, all in place and well understood. I praised the clinicians, the communication specialist, the program director, and my employee, the duty pilot. They were good, and they knew they were good. During the next few days, I had returned to my office and completed a report of the safety audit I had just completed. Our company had planned our first safety congress, a unique event at the time, and preparation for this event was dominating my time. The program had just hired a new clinician, and he was working his way through the new hire training program, a comprehensive training program designed to prepare him to meet the challenges ahead, at least most of those challenges. They all knew he would be good at his job. They all knew that he would be prepared. The safety congress was better than planned. Over 50 participants from all over the country, each and every one pledging their commitments to focus on safety, assist us in eliminating bad practices, and promoting good. We were pleased. We had set an example for others to follow, demonstrated our dedication to safety, and confirmed the choice made by our customers to select us as their vendor. Yes, we knew we were good. We knew that our efforts would be rewarded. Our future was bright. Training complete, the new hire was assigned his first day of duty. They knew he was well prepared, ready for duty, as they say. The shift started on a beautiful, clear day, and the new clinician received his first page, the tone that announced he had made it. He was on his first transport. Everyone knew he was ready. The other crew members had been specifically selected for this moment. They were the most respected in the program. Just a few days prior, I had shook the hand of the pilot and thanked him for his professionalism. He knew he was good. He knew he was the right person for the job. Shortly after the flight began, it ended. I received the call, two dead, one survivor, no patient on board. On the plane traveling to the program, I struggled with the limited information I had received. Aircraft low level struck wires, post-accident fire. Once on site, it all unfolded. An initiation, so to speak, a rite of passage. Maybe they thought it was team building. Once out of sight and in the country, the aircraft had descended to an altitude in which they were flying between the trees at a high rate of speed. The senior clinician turned and smiled at the new hire, confident that what they were doing was the right thing. A call for a position report from the comm center interrupted the excitement, and the aircraft returned to 1,000 feet and completed the required report. The interruption was short-lived. Once the report was complete, the pilot pushed the nose over, and the trees were soon rushing by the aircraft as it continued its charge towards eternity. The survivor stated that shortly before the impact, the senior clinician again made eye contact. This time, the smile was replaced with fear. This experienced, highly respected, compassionate professional was the first to learn what we all should have known.